Thank you for joining me for today's practice. Let's make a start lying on your back. Bringing the soles of the feet together, let the knees open wide, so coming into your Supta Baddha Konasana. Rest the hands on the belly, index finger and thumbs, slightly touching, and then close the eyes. Starting to bring the attention to the breath. And very gently lengthening to the breathing. So slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. And then noticing the surfaces of the body that are in contact with the mat. The outsides of the feet, the back of the pelvis, the middle and upper back, the upper arms, and the back of the head. And with each exhale, imagine that back surface of the body leaving an imprint underneath you. And with each exhale, that imprint gets a little bit deeper and a little bit clearer. Last few breaths here. And then let's open the eyes. Bring the knees up towards the ceiling. Walk the feet out so they're at least mat width distance apart and outsides of the feet parallel with the mat. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Taking an inhale, as you exhale, let the knees drop over towards the right, turning the head to look over the left shoulder. And then inhale, back up through centre, letting the knees drop over towards the left as you turn the head to look over towards the right. Inhale, back up through centre, exhaling over to the right. Inhale, up centre, exhaling over to the left. And just another two times on your own, gently mobilising through the hips, through the lower back. And then coming back over towards the right hand side with the legs, letting the head turn over towards the left shoulder and holding it here for a couple of breaths. Allowing the legs to be heavy and the shoulders to be heavy down on the mat. An easy breath. And then let's inhale, come back up through centre, exhaling over towards the left hand side and turning the head to look over towards the right. Notice if there's any unnecessary holding at this very early part of the class. And sometimes we might just be holding the legs up a little bit off the floor, so try to feel the weight of the legs. And then let's inhale, come back up through centre. Place the feet hip distance apart a little bit closer towards you and then placing the right foot on top of the left thigh, threading the right hand through the centre and either taking hold behind the thigh or the front of that left shin bone and trying to bring the legs in towards you. Keep flexing the right foot, trying to press the right shoulder away, the right knee away from the right shoulder. And as you draw the legs in, can you continue to find the sitting bones drawing back down towards the mat. So you have that oppositional action of drawing in and drawing away back down towards the mat. Take one more inhale here. Stay for the exhale, try to bring the legs in a little bit closer. And then release that left foot flat onto the mat. Keep exactly the same shape of the legs and then take the legs over towards the left hand side. So stand down on that right foot. If you can take hold of the outside of that right ankle or you could come up onto the knee or the shin bone. Open that left, the right arm over towards the side and then turning the head to look over the right shoulder as well. Keep pressing that right knee away from the right shoulder. And as you exhale, try to soften the lower back down towards the mat. And then let's 
take an inhale, come back up through centre, release the right foot down and we'll swap it over. Pop the left foot on top of the right thigh, threading the left hand through the middle and bringing the legs in towards you. You want to keep that right foot and leg relaxed as the left leg stays quite active. So the left knee pressing away from the left shoulder. And at the same time, the shoulders are relaxing down. And deep breaths. Take one more inhale. Staying for the exhale, see if you can bring the legs in a tiny little bit closer. And then let's release that right foot flat onto the mat, taking the legs over towards the right hand side, standing down on that left foot and holding the outside of that right ankle if you can. And then open that left arm out to the side and turning the head over to the left as well. Try to press the left knee away from you if you can. Lower back softening towards the mat as you exhale. And then let's inhale, come back up through centre, release that left leg down and take the left leg long, bring the right knee in towards the chest and taking your half happy baby. So if you can hold the outside of that right foot, if that's not possible, you could hold the, the ankle or even behind the knee. Left hand on top of that left thigh, use that left hand to press down through the back of that left thigh and then that right hand to encourage that right knee to draw in towards the chest. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. Stay active through that left foot so the left toes are pointing up towards the, the ceiling. Take one more inhale here. Let's stay for the exhale, see if you can bring that right knee in a little bit closer. And then let's release that right leg all the way long. Feet together, flex both feet for a moment. And then let's take the left knee in towards the chest. Taking hold of the outside of the foot, right hand on top of the right thigh. Really press down through the back of the right thigh as much as you can and then draw that left knee in towards the chest and slightly towards that left armpit. Last couple of breaths here. Take one more inhale, stay for the exhale, see if there's any more space to bring that left knee in. And then let's release that left leg all the way long. Let's bring the feet together for a moment, flexing both feet and then knees in towards the chest, hands behind the thighs, rocking yourself up to a seated position, crossing the legs over, coming onto all fours. Setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, long spine, and then take that right foot out to the side, the right ankle in line with that left knee, or you might have it a tiny little bit further in front. Press down through the outside edge of that right foot and then taking the right arm up towards the ceiling, spiralling through the upper body, inhale, exhale, soften the left elbow as you thread the right hand under and then inhale, coming back up, exhale, threading it under and inhale, come back up, let's do two more, exhale, under, inhale, reaching that right arm up. On this last one, option to just place the forearm down, right elbow underneath the shoulder continue to turn the shoulders towards uh, the left. If you can thread that right arm all the way down onto the shoulder onto the, and have the palm facing towards the ceiling, feel free to go for that. Otherwise, palm face down. You can wrap that left arm behind you. If you can hold the inside of that right thigh, go for that and that will help you to lift the right hip up as you continue to twist the shoulders towards the left. Taking one more breath here. And then release that left hand down. Place both hands down and then carry that right leg back so it's level with the torso and turn the toes so it's parallel, toes pointing down. Straighten the right leg as much as you can. Reach forward through the crown of the head and take that left hand forward, the left hand facing in towards the midline of the body. You'll have to lift through the front of the body towards the back of the body to help support the torso here and try not to collapse through the lower back. Taking one more inhale, and then exhale, release the leg and the hand down. Let's go to the other side, taking that left leg out to the side, left heel in line with that right knee, pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot. Inhale, sweeping that left arm up, 
and then exhale, soften through that right elbow as you take that left arm under. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, threading it under. Two more. Inhaling up, keep pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot as you take it under. And then let's go last time, inhaling, and then exhale. Your choice, resting down on the shoulder if that's available for you, or take the forearm down, left elbow underneath the left shoulder, wrapping that right arm behind. If you can reach, taking hold of the inside of that left thigh, trying to lift the left hip up as you turn the shoulders towards the right. Easy breath. Taking one more breath here. And then let's release that right hand. Left hand plants down. Carry the left leg back behind you, flexing that left foot, reaching forward through the crown of the head, drawing the navel in. And then when you're ready, extend that right arm forward, right palm facing in towards the midline. Noticing how this pose starts to activate those deeper core muscles to help stabilize the body. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, releasing the leg and the hand down. Taking that right arm up, inhaling. As you exhale, come down, flex the hand towards the front of the mat. Keep flexing the fingers quite strongly. Relax the back of the neck down, and then try to press out through the right side of the body. So we're trying to find a little bit more opening through that upper rib cage, shoulder, upper arm area. And then inhale, come back up to all fours. Taking that left arm up, inhaling, exhale, threading it down, flexing it towards the top of the mat, flex the fingers towards the face, relax the neck down, and then pressing out through that left side body. Open breath. And then inhale, coming back up onto all fours. Take the hands about two inches away from you. Keep them shoulder distance apart. Tuck the toes under, coming into your down facing dog. Spreading the fingers. And your first down facing dog, if you do need to keep the knees bent or you want to pedal out through the feet or do anything like that, feel free. Pressing down through the inside edges of the hands. And as you press down through the hands, notice how you can draw the energy up the arms into the shoulder sockets. And at the same time, try to relax the muscles at the base of the neck. Take one more full breath here. And then starting to walk the feet forward up towards the hands. Soften through the knees, relax the head down. And let's take a spinal roll to come all the way up to standing, finding your Tadasana at the top of the mat. Bringing the big toes together, heels together. Let's bring the palms of the hands together into your prayer for a few breaths. And you can close down the eyes. Grounding down through the feet. Imagining the four corners of the feet, the base of the big toe, the little toe, the outside of the heel and the inside of the heel. So you press down through the feet, the four corners of the feet, and then start to draw the energy up the legs. Then up through both sides of the waist, up through the spinal column and right up and out through the crown of the head. And then let's open the eyes. Release the arms down by your side, lengthening down through the fingertips. Hooking the thumbs, take an inhale, lifting the arms up above the head, press down through the feet, lengthen up through both sides of the waist, start to drop the tailbone down, lift through the sternum, very small upper back bend here, keep scooping up through the belly, inhale, as you exhale, bend the knees, release the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers behind the back, try to press the heels of the hands together, if that's not available, just let the wrists separate, and if you need to keep the knees bent here, then start there for this first round. Keep actively drawing the quadriceps up if you are starting to straighten those legs. Trying to shift the weight slightly forward into the feet. And 
Taking one more inhale, can you lift those arms a little bit further away from the back? And then exhale, releasing the hands down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, lengthening out through the spine, shoulders away from the ears, and then exhale, fold, plant the hands down. Bend the knee, step that right leg back. Staying on the ball of the right foot, come onto the fingertips and draw the sternum forward here. So you're pressing back through that right heel. Think about the inside edge of that right leg lifting up towards the ceiling. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, you can plant the hands down if that's available and then start to strain that left leg. It doesn't have to go all the way straight. Just trying to draw that left hip back, relaxing the head down, relax the shoulders. And then let's inhale to bend into that front leg. Try to keep the hips exactly where they are. Take that left leg back into your plank position. Finding plank. Press back through the heels, crown of the head reaching forward. We're going to lower slowly over a count of five. If you need to come down to the knees for the first one, then feel free. Take an inhale. Think about your plank position the whole way down. Elbow straight back for five, four. Press back through the, the thighs, the backs of the legs. Two, hover one and then release all the way down. Release your toes, try to lift the kneecaps off, open those hands wide onto the fingertips, take an inhale, wide arm cobra, shoulders away from the ears, and then exhale, releasing it down. And we'll do three more, inhale, and exhale. Inhaling up, and exhale, lower. One more, inhale up, and exhale, lower. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, pressing back into your down facing dog. Take five breaths here. Steady gaze with the eyes. Really pressing down into the palms of the hands as you draw the energy up the arms and up through both sides of the waist. Take an inhale, extend that right leg up to your three-legged dog, keeping the leg parallel so hips are square. Taking one more breath here, try to lift the heel up a little bit higher. Exhale, bringing the knee to the centre of the chest, stepping that right foot all the way forward in between the hands and finding your crescent moon lunge, bringing the arms up alongside the ears, gazing straight ahead. Once you've got your balance, try to bend a little bit more. Try to get that right knee over the right ankle. And then can you engage that left glute to try to lift the left hip up? And if there's space, pressing the back of that left thigh up towards the ceiling. Taking one more inhale, lengthening up through both sides of the waist. And then exhale, coming into your arrowhead lunge, tilting the torso forward, palms and hands facing the ceiling. And then inhale, coming back up. And exhale, arrowhead lunge. We'll do three more, inhaling and exhale. Keep lifting up through the belly. This is two. And this is one. Finding your arrowhead lunge, holding it here. Try to lift the belly button away from the mat. Try not to let the head drop forward too much. So find that line from the left heel out through the crown of the head. Take one more inhale, coming into your crescent moon lunge. Exhale, bringing the hands down a little bit further in front of that right foot and then lifting that left heel up towards the ceiling. Taking an inhale and then exhale, let both knees soften, let the head relax down and then inhale to extend. Exhale, soften. Inhale to extend. We'll do two more. Soften and extend and soften. And let's hold it out in our extension here. Try to draw that right quadricep up. If you can, hands can come flat. You can relax the back of the neck down just for another breath. And then soften through that right knee. Step the left foot forward, relaxing the head. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees. 
hook the thumbs, coming all the way back up to standing, dropping the tailbone down, lifting through the sternum to inhale, and then exhale, bend through the knees, interlacing the hands behind the back. Try to bring the arms back behind you. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhaling into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Step the left leg back. Coming into your sprinter's lunge here, onto the fingertips. Think about the inside edge of that left thigh lifting up towards the ceiling. Sternum reaching forward. Weight into this right heel. So draw the energy back into the right heel. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, start to strain this right leg. Hands can come flat if that's available. Drawing that right hip back. Relax the back of the neck. And then inhale to bend that front leg, plant the hands down. Try to keep the hips exactly as they are and then take that right leg back into your plank position. Crown reaching forward, slow lower over five once again. Take an inhale, exhale, elbow straight back, shift the weight slightly forward for four, three, two, one. Release all the way down, release the toes. Open those hands wide onto the fingertips, Taking an inhale, wide arm cobra, not too much weight in the hands. Exhale, release it down. Three more. Inhaling up. And exhale, lower. Two more. Inhaling. And exhale. Last one. Try to draw the kneecaps off the mat. And exhale, releasing it down. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, pressing back into your down facing dog. Three breaths now. Really finding that Ujjayi breathing. Long, slow breath in and out through the nose. And that small constriction at the back of the throat, particularly as you exhale to try to slow the breath down. Taking the left heel up towards the ceiling into your three-legged dog. Keep pressing evenly to both hands, take an inhale, and then exhale, bringing that knee to the center of the chest, stepping it forward in between the hands, finding your crescent moon lunge. Reaching the arms up, keep bending to that front leg, steady gaze. Can you engage that right glute to try to lift the right hip up and keep bending to the front leg? Have a sense of scooping up through the lower belly, Taking one more inhale, lengthen up, and then exhale, coming forward into your arrowhead lunge, palms facing the ceiling, and then inhale, coming back up. Exhale. And inhaling. Let's go three more. Exhale. And inhale. This is two. And on this last one, let's hold our arrowhead lunge. Energy out through the crown, keep pressing back through that right heel. Try to lift the navel away from the mat. And then inhale, come back to your crescent moon lunge. Exhale, bringing the hands a little bit further in front of that left foot. And then starting to take that right heel up into your standing split. Soften both knees, relax the head, and then inhale, extend. Exhale, soften, inhale, to extend, and again, soften, and extend. Last time, soften, and extend, and then you can plant the hands down, relax the back of the neck, holding it here just for a couple of breaths. Keep doing that left quadricep up, keep this right leg parallel. And then soften through that left knee, step that right foot forward, relax the head, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, hook the thumbs the other way if you remember, just trying to swap it around, inhale, lift up, and then exhale, bend the knees, interlacing the hands behind the back, try to interlace the other way as well. 
bring the arms back behind you and then let's release the hands down by the feet taking an inhale into your halfway lift exhale fold bend the knees step the right leg back come into your sprinter's lunge take an inhale draw the sternum forward exhale straightening this front leg and then we're going to move through inhale to bend step back into your plank and if you're ready for your full chaturanga take an inhale exhale lowering down chaturanga inhale up dog lift through the belly you might lift through the eyes exhale back down facing dog taking a couple of breaths here Inhale, extend that right leg up into your three-legged dog. And then exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming into your crescent moon lunge. Reaching the arms up. And then taking this right hand onto the back or the back of that left thigh. Keep bending to that front leg. And if you can, start to turn those shoulders to the right as well. Engage that left glute to left, lift the left hip up. Keep pressing back through that left heel. And then let's bring that right arm back up to your crescent moon lunge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, let's bring this left knee in towards the chest, coming into your balance, and then stepping it back into your crescent moon lunge. Inhale. And exhale, drawing the right quadricep up. Inhale, step it back. Exhale, draw the navel in. Two more. This is two. One more. Stepping back into your crescent moon lunge. Inhale, exhale into your arrowhead lunge. Turn the palms to face down and then shifting into your Dakasana. Lift that left leg up. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward. Top of the foot is pointing down towards the mat. Try to engage that left glute to lift the left hip up. For three, for two. Coming into your standing split, bringing the hands down. Try to lift that left heel up towards the ceiling. Taking one more inhale, try to lift the left heel up a little bit higher, bend through the right knee, step the left foot forward, relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, hook the thumbs, inhaling. One more round like this. Exhale, fold. Interlacing the fingers, bringing the arms back, releasing the hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, stepping the left leg back. Inhale to draw the sternum forward. Exhale to try to strain the right leg. Inhale to bend. Exhale back to your plank. Take another inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. Press through the feet. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And take a couple of breaths here. Trying to gather the breath. Let's take that left leg up into your three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming into your crescent moon lunge. Reaching the arms up, taking the left hand back onto the lower back or onto the back of that right thigh if you can. Keep bending to that left leg, squeeze that right glute to lift the right hip up, turning the shoulders to the left. Easy breath. And then let's inhale, come back up through centre. And then exhale, shifting the weight into this left leg, drawing that left kneecap up, coming into your balance. 
and then stepping back into your crescent moon lunge. Inhale, exhale, step it back. Coming into your balance, drawing that left quadricep up. Two more. This is two. Last one. Stepping back into your crescent moon lunge. Inhale, exhale. Arrowhead, turning the palms to face down. Lifting that right leg off the mat, coming into your Dakasana. Try to strain both legs as much as you can. Keep drawing that left quadricep up. For three, for two, and coming into your standing split. Relaxing the head down. Keep drawing that left quadricep up. Take one more inhale, and then soften through that left knee. Step that right foot forward. Relax the head. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, hook the thumbs. Inhaling. Drop the tailbone down as you take that upper back bend. Bring the palms and hands together. Exhale, release it down through the center line. Bring the hands in front of the chest and close down the eyes for a couple of breaths. And let's open the eyes, release the arms down by your side, bend the knees and sweep the arms up into your Utkatasana. Arms can be shoulder distance apart, or if you like to have the hands together, that's totally fine. Try to sit down a little bit deeper, take an inhale to scoop up through the lower belly, lift through the sternum, eyes looking straight ahead, exhale, and sit down a bit more, shifting the weight slightly back in the heels. Holding it here. Using the breath to meet the rising sensation in the body. Taking one more inhale, scoop up through the belly, lift through the chest, exhale, sit down a little bit deeper. We'll take one more breath here, inhaling, and then exhale, folding forward into Uttanasana. Relax the head down, draw the quadriceps up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, step or jump back into your plank position. Taking an inhale, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. One breath here. Inhale, reach that right leg up into your three-legged dog. And then exhale, bring the knee to the center of the chest. Little hover and hold, lift through the belly. And then inhale, take the leg back to your three-legged dog. Exhale over to the right tricep. Little hold. Inhale, press it back. Exhale over to the left tricep, little hold, inhale, take it back, exhale, back to centre, stepping it forward in between the hands, plant the left heel to the midline of the mat and then open up to your warrior two. Shoulders over the hips, keep bending to that front leg, energy out through the fingertips. And then take the left hand onto the upper back. And two options here, you can either take hold of your left elbow, or if, you, if it's available, reach that right hand back and try to take a bind with the fingers. Keep pressing that left elbow behind you. Keep bending to that front leg. Find the breath. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, come into your side angle, keeping the arms as they are. And this is quite challenging, so use your breathing. Gently drawing the navel in. And then on the next inhale, releasing the hands, coming back upright, arms extending out for a moment. Reaching the arms up, straighten the front leg. Inhale, and then exhale, draw the arms down into your cactus arms. So taking a little breather here. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, draw the arms down. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhaling, and exhale. Strain the arms, interlacing the fingers behind the back. Try to press the heels, the hands together, turning towards the front leg. Inhale, lift the sternum. 
Exhale, coming down into your humble warrior. Relaxing the head down. Try to draw that right sitting bone towards that left heel, the inside of that left foot. And then on the next in breath, coming straight back into your reverse warrior, left hand behind you, right arm up, index finger and thumb can lightly touch. Turning the head to look up towards the ceiling, or just right ahead of you. Legs can stay the same, so keep bending to the front leg. And then let's take an inhale, straight into the front leg, release the hands. Rotate the feet to parallel. You might need to walk the feet in a little bit closer. Draw the kneecaps up, lift up through the two frontal hip bones on the sides of the waist, and then folding forward, but keep scooping up through the lower belly. And then bring the hands out in front of you and walk the hands away. So imagine that your torso is in your down facing dog. And then shift the waist slightly back into the heels. And letting the breath slow down here. And then bend into the right knee, thread the left hand underneath, taking hold of the outside of that right shin bone or ankle. And then starting to bend into that left elbow and strain the right leg. So your shoulders turn towards the right leg. And then that left hip will want to drop down, so you keep lifting that left hip up. And then turn the shoulders to the right. Keep extending that right hand long. And then releasing that left hand, one breath. Rotating around the front of your mat into your sprinter's lunge. Sweep that right leg back, three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale forward into your plank. And if you want to keep the leg off as you lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath. Inhale, that left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the centre of the chest, little hold. Inhale, press it back. Exhale, over to the left tricep. Inhale, back. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to centre, stepping it forward in between the hands. And then plant that right heel down, coming into your warrior two. And making sure the legs are wide enough, shoulders over the hips. Trying to bend a little bit more into that front leg to begin with. Energy out through the arms. And then taking that left hand onto the upper back and it's your choice taking the hand to hold the right elbow or bring that left hand underneath. Trying to interlace the fingers or bind the fingers. Keep bending into that left leg. Take one more inhale here as you exhale, coming over into your side angle. Try to bring that left shoulder so it's stacked underneath the right. Floating your ribs in. And then inhale, coming back into your warrior two. Strain the front leg, reach the arms up. Inhale, exhale to bend. Taking your breather here. Inhale, reach it up and exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Last one. Inhaling up and exhale, bend. Strain the arms, interlacing the fingers behind the back, pressing the heels of the hands together. Inhaling and then exhale, diving forward into your humble warrior. Relaxing the head down. Drawing that left sitting bone underneath you and reaching it towards the inside of that right foot. And then on the next in breath, coming straight back into your reverse warrior. Index finger and thumbs lightly touching. And then let's inhale, strain the front leg, release the arms, rotate the feet to parallel. Bring the feet in so a little bit closer. Hands to the waist. Take an inhale to lift up through the hip bones, lift through the belly. Exhale, folding forward. Bring the hands 
underneath the shoulders and then walk the hands a bit further away from you. Think about your down facing dog torso. Plant the hands down, shifting the weight slightly back in the heels. Have a sense of the armpits wrapping to face one another. And then let's bend into that left leg, thread the right hand underneath, taking hold of the outside of the ankle or the shin bone. And then starting to bend more into this right elbow and strain that left leg so you can twist the shoulders to the left and then keep lifting that right hip up. And at the same time, finding the twist through the upper body. Open breath. And then let's release that right hand back to centre for a moment. Rotating around towards the front of the mat. Plant the hands down, sweep that left leg back, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale forward into your plank, lowering down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One breath here. Softening through the knees, looking forward towards the hands. You can step or hop. Taking an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften through the knees, sweeping up into Utkatasana. Inhale, and then exhale to strain. And then palms and hands come together, releasing down through the centre line. And release the arms. We're going to shift our weight into the left leg. Left hand can come to the waist and bring the right knee in towards the chest. And this is option one. If you can, take hold of the right big toe and then let's start to strain that right leg forward. And this is somewhere you could use a strap as well. Try to draw that right hip back. Really ground down through the left foot so you can strain the left leg. And when there's space, try to draw that right shoulder back. If you're holding your knee, just hold the outside of the right knee for this. Otherwise, threading this left hand to the outside of the right foot. Taking this right hand out to the side and behind you. And starting to turn the head to look over towards the right. Keep the breath going. And this next bit's a little bit tricky. Just coming back to centre. Keep the leg there. Bring both hands to the waist. Bend the knee in. Stepping back into your crescent moon lunge. Reach the arms up. Inhaling. Exhale. Bring the hands down. Step this left foot. It's about a third of the way down. Come to the outside edge of that right foot. Taking that left hand towards the back edge of the mat. Coming down with the hips. Take an inhale. Lifting the hips up as you bring that left arm up and over. And then exhale to lower down. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale to lower. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And holding this last one up here. You might stay here if you'd like to take your side plank. Left foot can come down or stack that left foot on top of the right. Keep pressing the mat away from you. You can turn the head to look up towards that left hand. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, bring that left hand down. Step back into your down facing dog. Coming down onto the forearms and interlace the fingers. We're finding our dolphin here. Elbow, shoulder distance apart. Bring the feet together and then come up onto the balls of feet. Really press down through the forearms so head is not down on the mat here. And then if you've got space, start to walk the feet forward up towards the shoulders, holding it here. If you can, take the right leg up, coming into your single leg variation, keeping the leg parallel. And then bring that right leg down, stopping it over. Keep actively pressing down through the forearms.
and release that left leg down. Make your way back up onto your hands. Separate the feet into your down facing dog. Take a breath. Inhale that right leg up into your three legged dog. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Come down to the left knee. Release the toes. Sweeping the arms up into your low lunge, inhaling. Interlacing the hands at the base of the head. So allow the head to relax back. Elbows opening back. Think about lifting up through the belly. And this next bit is quite challenging. So feel free to stay here. If you'd like to, think about scooping up through the belly. Draw that left quadricep up to lift the left knee off. Keep grounding down through that right foot. Sternum can lift up towards the ceiling. For three. For two. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, releasing the knee down. Bring the hands down. Walk that right foot across towards the left. Tuck the back toes under, and shunt this left knee forward. And try to get both hips down. You want to try to have that both knees pointing towards the front edge of the mat. Right hand comes behind you, reaching that left arm up. Inhale, hooking that left elbow over the right thigh, and twisting towards the right. I'm trying to let the breath slow down. Thinking about the left side of the rib cage turning towards the right. Take one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. See if there's any more twists. And then releasing the twist. Coming over the legs, stepping back into your down facing dog. Just taking a breath here. Softening through the knees, looking forward towards the hands. Step or jump forward in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Sweeping the arms back up to standing. Inhale and exhale, release. Tadasana. Let's go to the other side. Right hand to the waist, shifting the weight into the right leg. Lift this left knee up. This is option one. Option two, taking hold of the left big toe with the pistol, pistol grip. And then starting to take that left leg forward. Steady gaze with the eyes, something that's not moving. Try to draw that left shoulder back and really ground down through that right leg. When you're ready, either taking hold of the outside of that left knee with the right hand or outside of the left foot. Start to open that left arm out to the side, turning the shoulders to the left. Keep breathing. And this next little tricky bit, turning to face the front, let the legs stay where it is, hands to the waist, Bring the knee in towards the chest and step it back into your crescent moon lunge. So a lot of balancing in this sequence. Take an inhale, coming back up to your crescent moon lunge. Exhale, bringing the hands down. Step that right foot about a third of the way down. Come to the outside edge of that left foot. Lowering the hips down. Right hand towards the back of the, the mat. Take an inhale to lift the hips up. And then exhale to lower back down. Inhale, lift it up and exhale to lower. Two more, inhale to lift, exhale lower, inhale lift, exhale lower, and this last one, let's hold it up there. Then your choice, either stay here or bring that right hand up, taking that right foot in front or stacking it on top. Really try to flex both feet, and if it's okay, turning the head to look up, Straightening the legs as much as you can. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, bringing that right hand down and stepping back into your down facing dog. I'm going to take dolphin once again, but this time there's an option to not interlace the hands. So keep the hands shoulder distance apart. Press down through the palms of the hands. A little bit trickier because the elbows want to move outwards here. 
come to the balls of feet. If there's space, try to lift or walk the feet forward towards the shoulders and hold it here. Find your breath. Keep actively pressing down through the forearms. Try to relax the muscles of the base of the neck away from the ears. Option to take that right leg up. Releasing that leg down and swap it over. Softening the floating ribs in. And then release that left leg down. Make your way back up under the hands into your down facing dog and take a breath. Extend that left leg up into your three legged dog. Inhale, exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands. Coming down onto that right knee, release the toes. Sweeping the arms up, inhale. Interlacing the fingers at the base of the head. So allowing the head to really relax back into the hands. Thinking about scooping out through the belly. And remember it's an option to just stay here. If you'd like to, start to draw that right quadricep up. Lifting up that right knee for three. If you can, lifting up that sternum for two and for one. Releasing that right knee down. Release the hands down. Walk that left foot across to the right. Tuck the back toes under. Bringing that right knee forward. Sitting the hips down. Try to get that left sitting bone down if you can. Left hand behind you. Reaching the right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Hooking that right elbow and twisting to the left. Trying to slow the breathing down. Take one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. See if there's any more space to twist to the left. And then inhale back through center. Plant the hands down. Step back into your down facing dog. And take one breath. Soften through the knees. And you can either step or jump forward in between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sweeping the arms back up to standing. Palms the hands together and then exhale, release back down into your Tadasana. Open the feet out so they're hip distance apart. Hands come to the waist. Take an inhale, lift up. And then as you exhale, keep scooping up through the belly and folding forward over the legs and taking the hands and the forearms behind the calves. Try to actively draw the quadriceps up, draw the navel in, shoulders away from the ears and if there's space then you just start to fold the belly down towards the legs. Let the crown of the head be really relaxed. Having the forearms behind the calves encourages you to shift the weight slightly forward. So trying to not have the hip line beyond the ankles behind you. Two more breaths here. And let's release the arms. Taking an inhale to your halfway lift. Walk the feet out so they're as wide as the mat and then turn the feet out slightly, coming down into your Malasana squat. And bringing the palms and hands together, pressing those inner thighs out with the upper arms but at the same time squeeze in with the inner thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. You can set the gaze towards the tips of the fingers, but try not to let the hair drop down. Feeling the heaviness of the hips. Keep bringing that right upper arm underneath the right leg. Right hand can come down, extend that left arm up. Either stay here or continue to wrap that right hand behind 
the leg, taking hold of the fingertips, or if you can take hold of that right wrist, then go for that bind and keep twisting the shoulders towards the left. Keep the breath open. Place that right hand back down, extend that left arm up, and let's swap it over, hooking that left arm underneath. Right arm reaches up. Option to stay here or keep wrapping that left hand behind, taking hold of your fingertips or your left wrist, twisting the shoulders to the right. And then let's release that right hand back up. Bring both hands down and use the hands to help you sit all the way down. Extend both legs out in front of you, flexing through the feet, pressing down through the palms of the hands by your hips, finding your dandasana. So tips of the shoulders drawing away from the ears and the chin very gently tucks in, pressing down through the backs of the thighs. And then let's release that. Bring the right foot back behind you and then open the knee out to the side. If this doesn't work, then just have the right heel in towards the groin. That's completely fine. So try to have both sitting bones down. Keep the left toes pointing up towards the ceiling, lengthening out through both sides of the waist. You might stay here for a few breaths. And when you're ready, keep both sitting bones down on the mat and start to walk the hands forward just the way you can. So be really mindful. Noticing what's happening with that right hip joint that le and, the, and the right knee. And the breath will naturally slow down now that we've come down to the mat. And you can just go with that. And if you notice that space has started to open up, you might start to walk the hands a little bit further forward. And once again, just being really mindful of that right knee. We're going for a very strong internal rotation of the hip. It is actually very good for the knees, but we don't want to, we don't, we don't want any sharp pains happening in the knees. So if that's happening, then make sure you pull out of it. And then let's start to walk the hands back up. Use your right hand to bring that right knee forward. If it's uncomfortable, then just release and bring the right heel in towards the groin. Otherwise, stay here. Bring the left foot flat onto the mat, interlacing the fingers around that left foot if you can. And this is somewhere you might use a strap as well. And then already starting to think about lengthening up through the lower back, draw the navel in, and then starting to lift that left leg up in front of you. And you might stay here for a while. And you might work here for uh, quite a while. And then eventually you're going to start to strain that left leg, looking towards the left big toe, keep lifting up through the lower back, relax the shoulders down. Take one more inhale and then exhale, releasing that left leg all the way down. Take a long left hand by your side to bring that right leg out and we'll go to the other side. So take that left foot by your left hip or into the groin and then opening the left knee out to the side. So you're going to be facing towards the left hand side now. Try to have that left foot by the hip as much as you can and again you might be starting upright for a couple of breaths. Trying to let both hip bones be heavy and then as it starts to feel a little bit more open, you're starting to walk the hands forward. Soft shoulders, soft face. Really listening in and noticing if any space starts to open up. And if it does, then you might start to come a little bit further down or down onto your forearms. Last couple of breaths. And then let's start to walk the hands back up. Use your left hand, bringing the left knee forward. 
Bend that right foot in, interlacing the fingers around the foot if you can or use your strap. And then first of all starting to think about lengthening up through the lower back and through both sides of the waist. And then starting to lift that right heel off, draw the shoulders back. And then as you progress and you feel ready, you can start to straighten that right leg. Keep drawing that right kneecap up if you're straightening the leg and gazing towards that right big toe. Take one more inhale and then exhale, releasing that right leg all the way long. Right hand to your side so you can take that left leg out. Make sure you have enough room to roll back behind you. Arms up at shoulder height, take an inhale, exhale, draw the navel in, rolling all the way down onto your back. Bend the knees up so feet about hip distance apart and parallel. Make sure you can just touch your heels, palms flat. Take an inhale and then as you exhale, rolling up into your Setta Bandhasana. Option to interlace the fingers underneath the back and you might creep up a little bit higher on the tips of the shoulders. Try to release the top of the buttocks back towards the knees, so behind the knees. We tend to over grip into the top of the buttocks. Press down through the feet and see if that might allow you to lift the hips up a little bit more, but try to keep the bottom away from the shoulders. So you don't want to just jam the bottom up towards the shoulder. So keep reaching the tailbone in between the knees. Take one more inhale and lift the hips up a little bit higher. And then let's exhale, release the arms, rolling all the way down the spine, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees open wide. So finding your Supta Baddha Konasana once again here. Close the eyes. Feeling the weight of the legs. And then let's bring the knees together, arms down by your side, palms flat. Take the legs up towards the ceiling, flex the feet. So we're just in our Supta Dandasana here. Allow the shoulders to be heavy. You can let the eyes close or you could gaze towards the big toes. So this is still an inversion, but a mild inversion. So allowing the circulation to go in the opposite direction. And if you're feeling quite tight in the legs for any reason, you could just do this up against the wall as well. Last couple of breaths here. Bring the knees in towards the chest, hugging the knees in for a moment. Hands behind the thighs, rocking yourself up to a seated position, coming over the legs, come all the way down onto your belly. Taking that right arm out to the side, right elbow in line with that right shoulder a little bit higher. Use your left hand to roll yourself over onto the right side of the body, left foot coming behind you. And so the head's looking towards the left as well. You might close your eyes. Taking the breath into that right side chest, shoulder. Allowing the right shoulder to relax down towards the mat. Two more full breaths here. And then releasing down onto the belly. Just releasing very mindfully, a very delicate structure, the shoulder joint. And then going to the other side. So take that left arm into your 90 degree angle, turning the head to look, look towards the right. Use your right hand to roll yourself over onto the left side body. Right foot coming behind you. And just relaxing that right shoulder away from the ear. And 
And one side might be a little bit tighter than the other, so just being mindful of that. So you might be able to go a little bit deep or have to back off a little bit on one side. Having a sense of surrendering the weight of the body here. Last couple of breaths. And then releasing back onto your belly. Let's take your time, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Press yourself back towards the heels, knees together, sitting back into your child's pose forehead coming down towards the mat, arms down by your side, allowing the shoulder girdle to spill open. Allow the hips to be heavy. And five more full breaths here. And bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Make your way up to a seated position. Bringing the legs out in front of you. And coming to seated. If you're comfortable with half lotus or your full lotus, you could bring the feet up into your hip creases, flexing the feet actively, lengthening out through both sides of the waist. Bringing the backs of the hands onto the top of the knees and index finger and thumb slightly touching. Closing down the eyes. And bring the attention to the breathing. And continue to work with your ujjayi breath just for the last minute or two here. That long sonorous breath. Feeling the rib cage expand outwards Filling the middle part of the upper back, sternum lifts, and as you exhale, waistline narrows in, you might feel the pelvic floor lift. starting to let the breath go, opening the eyes, so releasing the hands, and gently releasing your legs out, starting to make your way onto your back. Finding your Shavasana, so letting the feet fall away from one another, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up, closing the eyes, And let's lift the shoulders up off the mat and then draw the shoulder blades down the back and then lay the shoulders back down. And 
With each exhale, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. Allowing the eyes to close completely. And resting here for the next few minutes. Feeling free to stay here for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.